What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and another Mexico all-inclusive resort vlog. I'm giving you all the details and thoughts and opinions of a recent trip at the Moon Palace Cancun. Massive resort, very well known. Is it worth it? How much did we pay? Would I return again? What's the good? What's the bad? So you know you can spend that hard-earned money wisely. I mean, we had a pretty good time. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out, as you can see right now. So if you're interested in this vlog, please subscribe, like, and keep watching. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of Mexico vlogs. We tend to go three, four, maybe even five times a year if we're lucky. I love Mexico. It's two hours from Texas, very easy trip. And this time we chose the very hyped up Moon Palace Cancun, which is only about 10, 15 minutes from the airport, which was fabulous. We stayed at the Nuzuk section of this big resort. They have three different sections that I will break down. Nuzuk or Nuzuk, I can't say it very well, is because I was reading the reviews and it said that this was a newer addition with better air conditioning. I am a stickler for air conditioning in the room. Call me a snob. I just just, I need my airflow and we chose Nazook. However, I kind of regret that decision. I will get to that later, but check-in was a breeze. We actually had VIP check-in because I booked underneath a member of this hotel, which was the very first time I've ever done this. Um, so there's the normal check-in line and we got to go upstairs in this really fancy little area with cocktails and food. And we got a really good price and we also have member bands that get us into certain sections of the resort, um, top shelf liquor, et cetera. If you're interested, this is how I found out about it. I found this page on Facebook and it really helped me get an idea of the resort. As you can see, you can go into the topics and it shows everything you could possibly want to know about this resort from the food, the rooms, the pools, excursions, blah, blah, blah. I found out that this was a member hotel and that they sell their memberships to people who are not members and you get a really good deal. Um, and you also get upgrades. So I found a really nice lady who, oh my gosh, she basically took care of everything for us. We just had to call the resort, give them our credit card information. And she kind of took care of the rest and gave me all the information. Her name is Belinda Osborne, as you see right here. Um, maybe you can contact her to see if she has any extra nights left for some good deals. But we ended up staying at the Nazook property, which is right here. This is the overview. However, we always went to sunrise this is the sunrise pool it's massive it's the party pool i will show you all details later but look how massive this resort is if you do not like to walk do not come to this resort however we love big resorts i love being spaced out from people i don't like to be on top of people at the pool i like to have plenty of pool bars plenty of restaurants to choose from just in case i don't like a restaurant and that is what this place is about you get so many options and look how beautiful it is I mean, oh, I was obsessed with the pools. Again, this is the sunrise pool. Here's some little clips of it. They have plenty of food around, a little pizza place, buffets by the water. Um, we hung out at the activity pool most of the time. <laughs> they had so much to do here. They had a flow rider, which my husband partook in. I did not, because I didn't want to break anything. It took him a couple of times, but he finally got the hang of it. He loves weightboarding. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff here for the kids. Even though it was a family friendly resort, there wasn't a lot of kids when we came because we went in September. However, if we would have went here in June with just me and my husband, I don't know if I would have liked it as much with all the kids that might have been there. Look how badass this instructor is. Like my husband was like, I want to do that so bad. And I'm just like, please don't because we need you to go back to work after this. But anyway, I loved the Sunrise property. They had a guy walking around with ice cream. The pools, again, are so beautiful, you guys. Plenty of space, plenty of space. The one thing that is not letting me rate this resort five stars is the beach. So this is the Barcelo Beach that we just went to a couple months back. And this is the Moon Palace Beach. As you can see, there is a huge difference. And I knew this coming in, I knew the water wasn't as clear, but I just really didn't know it was gonna be this brown. Um, however, it didn't stop us from having a good time. We typically stay at the pools anyway, but if a beautiful beach is important to you on your vacation, you will be disappointed here. So the shitty part about our room is we're next to this big air conditioner or whatever 
unit that is called, so it's a little loud. You don't hear the ocean, but it's okay. Thing in 6524. The cool thing about the rooms, it's on your bracelet, and typically it works until you start recording something. You just scan it. Oh, it's it's not working. And this is what it looks like. So we've been checked in for a few days, so it's not in perfect condition, but good enough. A little storage here. Toilet. It's kind of a small shower, but the cool thing about this resort is they give you kind of high-end products. This is all our stuff, but they do give you chi shampoo and conditioner and some lotion. On the closet, you get a large closet, iron, safe, TV, which we've never used, big drawers, which for some reason we don't use, lots of counter space, a tub that we did not use. I mean, we don't take baths. Usually we take showers. A little seating area that mostly serves purpose of holding all of my jewelry and accessories. King bed. It's very soft, very comfortable. The pillows are good. And this is our view. Which we've never, we didn't really partake it in a zook pool, did we? Oh. It's pretty here, but it was kind of an older crowd. Not much music, not, not much activity going on. So we chose to go over to Sunrise. Here is the teeny tiny balcony. This might be one of the tiniest balconies we've ever had, but it serves its purpose. No complaints, but look at this view. Now, if this was just a beautiful blue turquoise ocean, this would be a five star for me. However, with the beach, this resort rates four star. Beautiful pools though. The pools are insane here. Lots and lots of space. Really, he's had a few today. I'm putting that in the, in the vlog. These over here must be like a presidential type of suite. They've got huge walkout balconies, but we have never really upgraded anywhere we've stayed. We've always gotten the basic room, but luckily this time we got an ocean view. But honestly, we were here for when we woke up came back and changed and then we went to the pool and that's we haven't been here all day so we never feel the need of upgrading our room because we're never here mañana you still have a chance to do it tomorrow y por supuesto recuerden que van a bajar 4 kilos you're gonna lose at least 30 pounds in 30 minutes <laughs> at least get out get out hello i want it that way i want it that way correcto Say if you want. First place gone with 41 puntos, 41 points. Goes for Heather. Heather, come on over here. Where you? Heather, you got to model the t-shirt for us. Over oh, there, paparazzi. Scream on her. Morena, morena. So lots of fun stuff to do at the pools. They played volleyball, they played other games. Um, it's good entertainment just to watch people too. So anyway, now let's go on to the nightlife that they have here, the nightclubs, which is one main reason why I picked this place. I'm a big club girl. I love to go and dance. I love that they had golf carts and these buses to take you to different resorts. Unfortunately, I did not get the Sunrise Lobby, but if you go up that escalator, then you will have the sky bar right here. We hung out a lot, lots of fun things, pool. They even have hookahs that you can buy. Just a really good fun time until the actual clubs open. Or some nights when the club didn't open, we just hung out here the whole night. Now 
one thing I get asked a lot when I travel, go on vacations, is where I get my outfits, especially if we're traveling during the off season and not during the summer months. Of course, a lot of people have known about Shein or Sheen, however you wanna say it. I get a lot of my cute outfits that I go to the clubs or even bathing suits from this website. Here's a few pieces I bought that were super affordable and it's perfect to wear for nights like these. You know, dancing in the club. I don't wear these outfits typically at home. You know, where am I gonna go with this? So when I go on vacation, I want something affordable and it's perfect for this. We've been doing too much for all these seven years. Quiero que delante de todos, I'm proud of everybody. Thank you, Ricardo Alcolini. Thank you, Ricardo Alcolini. Will you marry me? So we love the nightly entertainment. Very, very impressed with that. I don't like to go to resorts that are just closed down at 10 o'clock at night. So this one was great for that. Now I'm gonna show you the grand side. This is a very expensive side to stay at. I'm kind of glad we didn't pay to stay here and we just bought day passes and we actually used our resort credits, which we got through booking through our member. Um, it only turned out to be like 30 bucks a day because you still pay taxes on your resort credits, but very grand, very elegant here. We ended up getting two days worth of day passes so we could try out some restaurants, the pools, and the nightclub here. One thing you'll notice with the pools, they're very spread out. Um, not a big pool area like Sunrise property had. And one thing that interested me was the adults only section, the adults only pool. They supposedly had like pool parties and a DJ. It was really neat and I liked it, but the water was super, super warm. Um, it wasn't as lively as the Sunrise Pool, so I actually preferred the Sunrise property better. This property is great for, I would say, older couples or couples who just like to do their own thing, don't like a lot of noise and activity. Um, each pool here was very neat to see, but it was a little boring to us, so we 
just preferred the sunrise pool and being over there. However, the amenities here were just as good. Um, the food was great at the restaurants, which I'll show here in a little bit. I liked the um, long pool here that overlooked the ocean. I will say the ocean here was a teensy bit bluer and a little bit nicer than down over at Nazook in the Sunrise property, but it still wasn't crystal blue like we've seen at other resorts. This area where this resort is located is just not the prettiest beach. So when you're paying that high price tag to stay at like even the grand right here, and you're getting this type of beach, I just, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't, I don't know, but they also have a huge water park for the kids. I know this area, this resort is great for families because of this water park. I mean, it's pretty awesome. They had a lazy river, they had big slides, they had kitty sections. So I just thought I would show y'all a little bit here just in case you're traveling with little ones, even big, my big kids would love coming here. Now let's take a walk and I'm gonna show you a little bit more of this resort. They had some really cool shops and of course more pools as you got closer to the ocean. Lots of walking, but they did have golf carts which helped if you're lucky to kind of catch them. I really liked this pool too. Um, you could feel the breeze. Another pool that was located a little bit further down we were constantly checking the maps at this property. I'm sure once we stayed here more than just a day or two, we would get familiar with it, but it's so big, you guys, it's so big. Here's another little pool right beside a restaurant and we had heard people talking about a coconut bar. So we were on a mission to find this coconut bar. Finally, we got a golf cart to take us over there. What is this? <laughs> this is super safe versus just walking in the grass. This part of the beach is actually the nicest that we have seen so far. It's not near as brown. But you can definitely see over there at Cancun, it is a lot bluer. basically what I've been doing for my like makeup at night. It's really easy, really fast. I'm using my Makeup Forever HD stick. I just kind of like draw some lines on, buff it in. My concealer, which is the Maybelline Instant Eraser. What's really been helping my makeup stay in this humidity, especially when I'm sweating if we're going dancing or something, is this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I put this on obviously for my foundation and it's really been helping everything stick to my face and not melt away my powder that I used to kind of set my face to make my foundation last. I'm using the Huda Beauty setting powder, my all-time favorite bronzer of life, Makeup Revolution Glow Bronzer. Look how big that compact is. I'm putting a little bit of this now on my eyes for eyeshadow super simple and easy i wore my hair like this today in these little cute bubble braids i took out the bottom i'm gonna redo those because they got wet in the pool but that's been so easy to throw up um for the pool keeps my hair out of the water off my face because it is windy here but the pool's being right near the ocean then i have been popping on some lashes just some like ardell lashes just to kind of you know I feel like it makes me look a little fancier. So far we've been loving this resort. The only obviously disappointment, like I mentioned earlier, is the beach, which I knew it was gonna be bad because that's what the review said. People come here for the amenities, not the beach. Um, going to Isla was really neat to get a good beach. The food's been really good everywhere. Breakfast has been just kind of a little disappointed, but breakfast is not a big deal to us. I think for lunch has been great. Dinners have been great. I love that they have the um, nightlife open. A lot of the resorts that I looked at, their nightlife was closed, not night clubs, clubs were closed. For some reason, Moon Palace is still keeping it open. Ty has been feeling bad all day because he partied a little too hard last night. I actually had the exact same amount as he did, but for some reason I can hold my liquor a lot better than he can. <laughs> 
he says he drank more, but he did not. And I don't drink at home, like I'm a lightweight. So obviously the drinks here are a little watered down. Um, you kind of got to like shoot some shots to get a buzz. If you drink a couple, you might get one, but it's better, you know, with the uh, shots if you're wanting to start to feel something, but yeah. You know, he was feeling himself and. You're cut off. Nope very sick this morning and we had to go get COVID tested this morning which we know it was because he drank too much but I'm like ooh, would that throw some of the results like you know you never can tell with those things like I don't know I just don't trust them I don't like that we have to test here but it is what it is if that's what we have to do to come to Mexico then whatever but this is a good resort I think it's a little overpriced we've stayed at some really good resorts for a lot cheaper a lot cheaper but I think the Moon Palace has just been around for so long and you're kind of paying for the name would we come back if someone gave me the option of trying a new resort or coming back I would try a new resort just because I don't know it's a good resort but it hasn't like blown my socks off the price is a little steep for this place The rooms are nice, they're kind of small, which is fine because we're never in here. But um, it doesn't get as cold, which I hate. Like Ibero Star at Barcelo's rooms, oh my God, it was like a freezer at night, which we love. We keep our house on like 60 degrees at night. We're very hot natured people. Thankfully, we've passed out pretty quickly at night. So we haven't really noticed, but when we come in sometimes during the day, we're like, ah, oh, we wish we had like a super cold room to come into, but it's not bad. It's not a total deal breaker. Um, just throwing out some pros and cons here and there. Oh my god, you got to hear him. <laughs> I can hear him. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Oh okay. yay. Look at me. See, it just it just amps up the look a little a little more. Now let's talk about the food. I always like to do my reviews in separate portions from nightlife to pools, beaches, and food. So breakfast, we always just went to the Nizuk buffet downstairs. I think they did have other breakfast options. This was just easiest. It was okay. I was just honestly really surprised that there was no bacon and sausage. They had everything else, but no bacon and sausage, which was crazy to me, but it was fine. For lunch, we loved to get this barbecue at the smoked place right beside the pool at sunrise. My husband loved this. However, they did not have barbecue sauce, which I thought was really weird. And then we also love to eat at the pool buffet at Sunrise property, because that's where we were pretty much every day. We never really stayed at the Nazook property where we were, you know, where our room was. But it was nice that it was right beside the ocean and you could feel that breeze. It just was a brown ocean. So that was the only disappointment. The food was good though. I really liked the food at this buffet. They also had a coffee shop, which had really good sandwiches that we would get that's inside the lobby. They did have this at every single property, Sunrise, Nazook, and The Grand, along with desserts, which I'll show you in just a little bit. This taco place right here was over at The Grand, so you need a day pass to get here or actually stay at The Grand property, but it was amazing. Oh. I don't know this one. It's so We also ate lunch um, by the pool at the adults only section. They had a little bit of everything, hamburgers, uh, chicken wings, onion rings, all that kind of stuff. For dinner, my most favorite restaurant was uh, Momo, which was the Japanese restaurant. We ate here actually three times. <laughs> we didn't get to branch out as much as we liked to normally, but it was just so good. It was hard to go somewhere else. We were just huge fans of this restaurant. The best thing was the Momotin Sushi.
two Texas steaks, and obviously they are totally different um, in other areas. So I always get chicken. It was good, it was really good. The appetizers were amazing here. Neat to try, but not our favorite. Now, over here at the Grand also, they have an Italian restaurant called Travoli. This was definitely up there as one of my other favorites. It was so amazing. I loved the scenery in here and it was just kind of casual. You didn't need to dress up super fancy, but obviously you needed to wear a little bit more than pool clothes. I loved everything I had here. Absolutely wish we would have tried it another night. And then of course, like I mentioned earlier, they have a coffee and dessert shop at every single property that have gelato, truffles, cakes, cookies. It was so nice to get a snack, you know, at night, during the day. We loved coming here after dancing at the club at like one, two o'clock in the morning, just as a little night snack. Super, super good desserts, you guys. You have to try them. Hey, the door's open. I wanted to bring my GoPro, my thingy. I keep forgetting. Now comes the dreaded COVID test. It actually wasn't too bad. It took about five minutes to get our results back and we chose to test uh, the day before we left. Stop saying that, now you're making me nervous. <laughs> Goodbye, Mama. Shut up, Ty. That wasn't bad. So it wasn't bad at all. The crazy thing is the airport didn't even ask us for our negative COVID test. Like literally we could have not even done it and no one would have asked. Now that's probably not the case every single time, but it was this time when we traveled. So that's about it for this vlog, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. We really liked staying here at the Moon Palace. It's been on my list for a while to come and try. Stay tuned for my next upcoming video of our trip to Isla Mujeres. This was a beautiful island that had the prettiest water, especially since we didn't have much of a beach at Moon Palace. I didn't want this video to be too long, so I'm splitting these videos up. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I can't wait for you to see this next video and how amazing this island is. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a great week and I will see you in my next video.